Hello, this is Craig. One of the things I've wanted to do for a while, one of the pieces of technology I've wanted to create, is a jointed paper doll system. Uh, let me show you what I mean. These are simple paper dolls, right? But instead of being a sprite that you overlay your clothes onto, like say in, in uh, Gaia Online or something similar, each of the pieces of limb are uh, their own sprite and they connect up, which means that you can animate it like this. Uh, actually, in this case, you wouldn't want to animate it. HTML5 isn't terribly good at rotational um, um, motion, so uh, animation chugs pretty hard. This is on a desktop, and uh, even though I am doing some other stuff in the background, including recording, this is still unacceptably um, chunky. I could probably make it a little faster, but either way, the point isn't to animate. I'm showing off animation just to show you that it can happen. The point is that you can pose them into whatever poses you need to pose them into. Uh, and that would allow you to, um, for example, have the same character sitting, standing, lying down, putting, you know, uh, doing headstands. You can do all of that without having to draw a new overlay for a new doll base. Um, so normally if you were to go into some place uh, where you have a paper doll that you overlaid clothing onto, you'd find that you had very few poses, probably only one, because for every pose you've got to redraw all the sprite assets. That's a terrible pain in the ass. In this case, this is all programmer art, um, but you can see the basics. The, uh, uh, the way that this works is right now only the torso and the pelvis have overlays, but all of the limbs can have overlays. I just haven't gotten that far. Um, this is a multi-layer overlay. It might be hard to see on YouTube, but you can actually see that this guy has a gray shirt and she's got some sort of pink undershirt on, so you can have multiple overlays on the same sprite. It's very straightforward. You can also swap out your sprites. Not only can you swap out the visual sprite, so for example, here, this guy's torso sprite and pelvis sprite are different from this lady's torso sprite and pelvis sprite, although he's still kind of womanly looking, um, at least in that pose. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, the sprites are swapped out and that's easy enough to do. Um, however, you can also swap out their core connective sprites. Now let me show you what I mean. This is not a series of images which are carefully and painstakingly hand uh, specified. I don't say, well the shoulder has to be at point X, Y. Um, instead what I do is every one of these sprites has a definition sprite. So this girl her torso's definition sprite is this, zoomed way in, of course. And you can see that this torso is uh, has got some dots. Each one of these dots is a piece of connection, uh, except for this black dot, which is actually the center of mass. But uh, uh, this this black background is actually transparent, but that, that's a different story. Uh, so this red here connects up to the arm, which also has a red dot. If I change this dot to a green dot, uh, like this one down here, I would get a pelvis coming off of the shoulder. It's all specified by the color of dots. It might be difficult to tell, but this green here and this green here are two different colors, um, one of which is matched by the pelvis and one of which is matched by the head. Uh, so long story short, you can swap these images out all you'd like, and these images aren't ever drawn to the screen um, for the sake of, uh, of my own personal ability to tell what the hell's going on, I have filled out the rest of the image with a, a block of, of light flesh tone, um, but I don't have to. This, this area that is pink could be transparent and it would have the exact same effect, uh, although you wouldn't be able to tell what the hell was going on when you opened up the image to look at it. But what this means is that live, in the middle of, of creating your character or doing something, you can actually swap out these connective maps. Um, and if the connective map has different dots or the same dots in different places, the shape of your body is different. So that means that we could swap out the torso for a shorter torso, for example, or a wider torso. And you could do that piecemeal. You don't have to say, oh, your body type is X. You could say your body type is, oh, you've got a beefy torso and you've got these little teeny legs. Um, or maybe you've got a beefy torso and you've got beefy legs. Or whatever you'd like to do. I'd like to show you that you can do that, but I haven't built any real assets yet. This is every single asset I've built up on the screen already. Um, and of course you can still do the standard swapping out your eyeballs and your hair, um, but the core of this is that it allows you for a lot more customization, a lot more piecemeal customization than you normally can do. Uh, 
the uh, uh, then you can pose them into the variety of poses that they are likely to show up in, and uh, the end result is that you can have with one set of of content an unlimited number of poses and a wide variety of recombinatory shapes. I've wanted to do this for a while, but there's always been a couple of hang-ups. One is that it's actually not terribly simple to do all of these. Uh, all of this wrangling when it comes to rotating around specific points. Um, the way I've done it is not ideal for speed, but it is ideal for clarity of understanding what the heck's going on underneath the covers. Um, so uh, I had to take a while to figure out a good balance there and not get too lost. Um, and there are some other things that were keeping me back when I tried it before, uh, one of which was simply my unwillingness to draw. Um, I do draw quite a bit, but drawing pieces of figures is actually quite a bit harder than you might think. Anyway, it's built now, and it's kind of coolish, and it works kind of okay-ish, so, um, yeah. Should be able to use this for content, although I'll probably end up redrawing it to be much more comic book SD style rather than a rather... Um, you know, seven seven head tall figure style that I've got now. I'll probably end up with something more uh, four heads, so uh, something something cuter and smaller. Anyhow, I'm done rambling. I just wanted to uh, show you what I'd done. <laughs>